Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Grown Folks Talking Live. Welcome, you guys. Grown Folks Talking Live with your favorite woman and transformation expert, Dr. Akila Faye. And it's such a blessing to be here with you all. This episode is brought to you by Tribe Transform of Raleigh, North Carolina. That's Tribe T-R-I-B-E, Transform, T-R-A-N-S-F-O-R-M dot com. Bringing meditation services and stress reduction techniques to schools, organizations, and corporations. Individual services also available. So we want to give thanks to them for sponsoring this show. You guys, this is the last part of a three-part series, The Truth Behind COVID-19, where we have been discussing another way to look at what's happening and understand the context it has in our own lives on a spiritual aspect and a mental aspect and positive strategies we can use in order to maintain and elevate during this time, despite what a lot of social media is showing, despite a lot of negative portrayals. We want to highlight the good, but also be knowledgeable that there are things happening. Everything's not perfect. There are a lot of struggles, but that doesn't mean that one has to sit there and dwell upon them, right? Right, for sure. So with us understanding that, that's what we're going to be doing here. It's focusing on what can we do differently. So you know we always start off with gratitude. So you guys, I'm really, I've gotten some emails with people in inboxes um, of people sharing their feelings and thoughts about everything that's happening with police killings and illnesses and And their regular families, just people having cancer still, people still having heart issues. But then also, some people let me know that their businesses are thriving right now. There's been people who are saying that, you know, the children not going to school, their families are getting closer. They're actually learning more about their children, their children's personalities, what their interests are. They're learning a lot about their own fortitude and ability to adjust. Um, There's several people who have actually started businesses that just never had the time beforehand, before the stay-at-home orders, before the curfews, before all of those things. They were just so busy, so they appreciated being able to slow down. And I'm grateful for everyone who's been inboxing and letting me know your thoughts and your feelings and your challenges and what's going on. I Also, I'm grateful for people who reached out to me via social media to send prayers and love regarding the situation or encounter I had with the police a few weeks back. You know, I really appreciate that. Had people advocating from places that are so far from North Carolina, it's ridiculous because they see the value that I bring and that's what they voice. And it felt really good to know that people find such value in the works that I do out here with my organizations, with this podcast, with other things. So I'm going to pause for 30 seconds. And during this 30 seconds, I want you to think about what you're grateful for. All right. Now, if you didn't know, now you know. I hope you had your journal, your pen, your pad, whatever you take notes with, and write those things down. Write that down. Okay? Write down what you're grateful for. Gratitude breeds more things for you to be grateful for. So whatever you're you're focusing on, whatever you're putting your mind on, if you're always focused on things aren't working out, then things are going to continue not working out. Because that's what your mind is focused on. If you put your mind on 
Whenever you need something, it's always there. Then whenever you need something, it's always going to be there. That's why we do the gratitude. That's why I want you to write it. So that you can constantly remind yourself of all the things to be grateful for. Food at the house. Electricity. Being able to get where you need to get to. Having time to rest. Having time to just chill. Having employment. Receiving unemployment. Whatever it is you're grateful for. And don't judge what you're grateful for. Life. Life, 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 life. Always grateful for life. Let's elaborate upon that about why, though. Because we have a life and we're not being effective with it. It's not going to make a difference. And that's one reason why so many people are upset right now. Because there are individuals in this world, just people in general, who do not value life. And a lot of us, I've been seeing people's postings, like just on social media. I don't know if you all have seen it. But have you noticed that a lot of people are starting to show how it's just people coming together to say, hey, everybody matters. Everyone's important. Everyone deserves to live. There's people coming together saying, hey, no, we are having a peaceful protest. We are making it known how we feel, what we think. We are making it known that we need solutions. We are making it known that we do not approve of this behavior. We are making it known that we do have the ability and the fortitude and the intellect to come together in a way to create positive change and get policies changed. This is what's happening right now. And it's not just old people. It's not just young people. It's not just brown people. It's not just non-melanated people. It's all people, ages, economic statuses coming together while still while still respecting rules. And we've seen all the wonderful videos where it's so many people, diverse groups of people coming together to say, this behavior is not okay. And the behavior has never been okay, right? It's never been okay. But then you also had the videos of people looting and robbing. Then you have videos showing that these are the Antifa and other groups coming out to sabotage stuff, right? Like, I was on the call the other day, and a troll jumped on and just started saying the N-word all over the place and playing hate music. You know, there's people who are doing some really horrible things right now from the sake of hate. So how do we deal with that? How do we maintain our composure while seeing all of these different things? And still keep in mind, the pandemic is still here. It has not went away. There are still people who have to stay at home. There are still people who are quarantining. There are still public servants in the hospitals that are treating regular illnesses in addition to possible COVID individuals. So the truth behind this COVID, look at all the chaos, right? COVID made it where people became so tired of being tired that we finally started to get our minds clear and come together to stand up for the type of world that we want to live in. Think about how powerful that is. Now see, that might not have been the intent behind this pandemic, but it's definitely a result. People have started fixing their homes up to keep their minds off of things that are going on. But better than that is taking care of your own household first. If nothing else, that's something else we can all take from this COVID. Clearing our minds out so that we can actually focus. That we can actually have conversations. That we can actually care about the things that matter to us most. Whether you're protesting whether you're doing social media or whether that's not your cause. And while people are protesting and going for social reforms and policy changes and things like that, you may be the person that's babysitting the children. You may be the person that is going to work and helping fund some of these events. You may be the person who's like, you don't pay any of that attention because you're still working on the climate and the environment and making sure the animals don't go extinct and that we still have trees and grass because that's still important. You may be the person that's working in education to figure out, okay, with COVID in place and children not being able to go to school, 
Or if they do, how do they go to school with social distancing and you have 30 kids in a classroom, but you got to be six feet apart? Is it mathematically possible? If so, how? You may be focused on that issue. There are still other pressing issues going on. So COVID can be used as an excuse to not care about things that always mattered and should matter. Or it can be looked at as an opportunity to slow down and really focus on the issue that you're good at, that you're skilled with, that you're passionate about. Not because everyone else is passionate about it, but what do you feel for yourself? Mm-hmm. If it's coming to you, go ahead and write that down. Because everyone's going to have something different. But there will be groups of people who have very similar things. And that's where you get the organized protest from. That's where you get the people saying go out and vote. That's where you get the educators reforming things. That's where you get our environmentalists. That's where you get our financial experts. That's where you get the life coaches like myself. That's where you get spiritual guidance like myself. A lot of people come to me for that. And that's my interest and passion. You have podcasters. You have vloggers. Everyone has something that they're doing. Comedy is just as important during this time as it ever has been. Being able to get your mind off of things with a good book is just as important now as it always has been. COVID is like a big timeout for adults, man. A big, 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 big timeout. So while you think about that, we're going to play our theme song. I told you, I'm going to play this butterfly song for this whole series. And I want you to think about your transformation and what you've actually learned about yourself during this time period. What have you learned about yourself? We'll be right back. Fly high, fly low, fly wherever 
You will never be the same Transformation means that the old you has changed Revealing a you that others may no longer recognize nor desire But truth and love rest with thee as you explore life The way you are Fly, just fly, just fly. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that break. And that you fly during this time. That you allow yourself to open yourself up to new possibilities, change, and transformation. Because the same changes that are happening outside in society is the same thing that happens on the inside. The chaos that we see is the same chaos that happens on the inside. We want to change something. We got to go through the confusion. We got to go through the emotions. We got to go through the ups and downs. We got to go through all that to gain the clarity that we need to be the best version of ourselves. You know, it's really hard to do something new if you don't break up the old. And so you have to break up the old patterns. You know... During this time, I told you all about the thing with the police, and I was very, very distraught, right? I thought about it. This is the chaos I'm talking about, so I want y'all to have it for an example, right? This is an extreme example. I'll give another one, too. So in that time, like, yes, it, you know, it was scary. It was definitely not the right way to greet a person, right? And then I looked back on it, and I said, you know what? I told myself I'll see my son again, meaning I already knew I was going to see my son again. And then I was able to call myself to be able to be in a better state when the police got closer to my vehicle. Well, why is that important? Because we never know what issue somebody is already facing. Somebody else in that situation could have been having some extreme PTSD. They could have been um, having an emotional breakdown while they was in their car. They could have been paranoid. And the police walking up might have just exacerbated that. Which means that the police probably would respond very differently because they don't know why that person is passing out. Right? But because I was calm with it, they got my ID, you know, went on about their business. I just did not like the experience. But now I look at it and say I needed that experience because it showed me how much I've grown and who I am. How many times have you had a situation that you really didn't favor? But when you look back at it an hour later, a week later, a month, a year, you realize, dang, you really grew a lot or you had learned a lot because you realized that at a different time in your life, you might have handled it in another way. You might have felt about it a different way. Then you start comparing it to other experiences and you're like, that wasn't even one of the worst experiences or the scariest So why dwell upon it and make it take over your life and give it more power and energy than what it deserves? That's the same thing with this COVID that's happening right now. And our social climate with demanding justice. We've been demanding justice. That's why we have history books where you see that people were having civil wars and battles. It's always been a group of people who treat another group of people unfair. That's never made it right. It's never made it okay. No one ever said, hey, abuse us. No one does that. If they do, they have what's called um, battered syndrome, where a person is used to being abused and they think it's normal. It's not, and it's not healthy. So when you look at these situations, you got some options in your life. 
on how you want to deal with them, how you want to perceive them, how you want to move forward with them, how long you want to hold on to it. But while we're in COVID, I really recommend highly that you take care of your mental health and your spiritual well-being. Have some type of relationship with God. Have some type of spiritual practice that keeps you focused and calm. If that's going to the lake and going fishing for your mental and spiritual balance, because on that space you just you enjoy the water, you enjoy the morning sun rising, you enjoy the waves and the smells. You allow yourself to clear your mind and really recenter yourself and ground yourself. Just going fishing or on a boat ride. Maybe walking around the neighborhood. So that you can really separate from people and everything. Hear your own inner voice. Tend to your own needs. Because if you don't, this situation will drive you crazy. But you have a choice. I want you to know you have a choice. You can choose to start drawing again. You can choose to start cooking new recipes. You can choose to pay attention to some inspirational or spiritual speakers or stories or little videos. Change up your pattern. Disrupt your own patterns. And if you're already doing these things, amplify it and share it with other people. You know, it's no good to have really good strategies and tools and books to reference and things like that. And then you keep it to yourself. That's so selfish. Let some people you know know about these things, especially if you see that they're a little stressed out, sad, depressed. Go ahead and enjoy that. Ignore people who are who are stupid. I'm just calling them stupid. They're not ignorant. Ignorant means people don't know and people know what's going on. But stupid people who want to be rude. People who don't want to use common sense. People who want to always talk about what's wrong and how it ain't never going to be right and all of that negativity. Cut those people out your life. And if you are that person, uh, do something different, please. If you are that one, if you know you are always the one bringing up something crazy that happened, you are the one bringing up chaos. You are the one who always want to talk about the negative side and then justify why you want to talk about the negative side. Let's adjust that. Now, am I saying you got to be an optimist? No. I am saying you need to be positive, though. And that when speaking with others, be mindful that this is a very challenging time for most people. So you got to ask yourself, are you adding value to what, so, to someone's life? And what kind of value are you bringing? Are you bringing a five cent value or five million dollar value? Or are you taking away from that person? With the way you respond, your tonality. Mental health shows itself in everything. A healthy person, you'll see them smiling. They'll be able to converse with you. They can express their feelings and emotions. They can fall back. They have more self-awareness, more productivity. But a person whose mental health is not in the best place or not balanced at the time, they're going to be a little bit more lethargic. Um, Their thoughts are going to be wishy-washy. Their emotions might be up and down all over the place without a circumstance occurring. So, like, non-situational behaviors. Like, nothing happened, but they yelling, are they mad, are they upset? Nothing happened, but, you know, they're happy for two seconds, and then they get really, really sad. You know, things like that. They're not able to focus because their mind's in too many places. This is the area of your life that you notice that you're struggling with, especially during this time where things are changing so quickly and we're having to adjust almost every other day to rules and regulations and policies and all these things. Go to tribetransform.com. 
look at some of the resources on there. There's some free resources on there, and there's also some that are not. And there's something for everybody. Go on there, find the links at the bottom. TribeTransform.com. Go on YouTube or TikTok and start looking up things like meditation or exercise or dancing or whatever your interest is. Fishing, cooking, axe throwing, whatever it may be. Take you a little trip. It's summertime now. But take care of yourself. I would love to hear what you guys do to take care of yourself and how you go about that. So you can always send me an email, Fay at gmail.com. That's A-C-Q-U-I-L-L-A-F-A-Y-E at gmail.com. Let me know what you think and follow me on social media on IG, again, at Fay. Facebook, same thing, Dr. Fay. I would love, love, love for you guys to start sending some pictures and videos about what you're doing, what you're applying. And with that, we're going to do a meditation together, you guys. I'm going to keep it short so that you can go ahead and apply some of these things to your life. And share. Share with other people. Remember, you have a responsibility to take care of you first and then take care of everybody else. And with everything that's going on, allow COVID not to be your excuse for not being the best version of you. Instead, allow it to be the reason why you were able to explore and expand yourself and make the changes that you've been wanting to make. And with social change, support those who are doing it. And if that's not your fight, it's not your fight. If it is your fight, it is. And to all those who are continuing to work on health care and the environment, education, economics, all these things, I appreciate each and every one of you because we all have our roles construction workers we all have our places we all have things we need to focus on we need to respect that about each other so with that you all real simple breathing technique i want you to take your left hand put it on your left nostril like close it take your right hand put it on your stomach and we're going to breathe in the right nostril three times So the inhale will be through our nostril. Exhale out the same nostril, okay? Ready? Inhale. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now we're going to switch. Right hand, right nostril, press. We're going to breathe in through our left nostril. And then we're going to exhale out the left nostril. We're going to hold it. Ready? Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You probably noticed that above your eyes, you may feel a little tingling sensation or something different. That type of breathing, it helps you with resetting your mind. So it helps with the circulation, like actually in your brain. Because we need to relax. You can do that as much or as little as you like. I love you all. I appreciate you all. It's another episode of Grown Folks Talking Live. Kept it short this time because I want you to go out here. Have a good time. Enjoy yourself. Relax yourself. Reach out to me and we'll see you later. God bless, protect, and shield everybody. Till next time.